everyone. I am Kishmal Intaz and I work as a data scientist in PTV Group. Welcome to the video series on model to go In the first video, I will show you how we can create a model to go supply using this functionality. So let's just dive right into it. Here I have opened a Wism version where I have created a territory for the area of Munich. And this territory can be completely based on the user preference. You can see that I have also included the area of Augsburg inside the territory because in this case, I want to also include this area for the model. So this is the first step of creating the model to go supply. We need the territory. After we have this territory, I would go into the Wism add-in and op open the model to go dialog box. In this dialog box, because we want to create a new model, so I will just click on this create button. Here we can see a variety of options. And these options depend on the map provider we are choosing to create the model. First of all, we can select the map version from this, uh, from this version here. We, can, we have an option of here and TomTom -tom maps. And based on the user preference or the use case for which the model is being created, we can select this version here. If we have the here map version selected, then we can almost select all of these workflow options. But it is important to note that the TomTom -tom version does not support, uh, for example, this create signal programs and the POI addition options from this workflow. So after we have selected the map version, we can go into the workflow options. And uh, the first one, the basic one, is always, of course, the creation of the base road network. If we want the PUT side of the supply to be also included inside the model, then we can also select this public transport network, uh, the downloading of the GTFS feed, the matching of the public transport, and so on. Another thing important to note here is that sometimes we have the GTFS data available from the data providers, uh, which is always preferable to use as compared to the data which is publicly available. So in that case, we can uh, load this data from this window here. So here I have already loaded the data for complete Germany, and I can just I can just load it here. Um, and uh, uh, after that, we can also specify the zoning. So what is the type of zones that we want? We can create the raster zones, the hexagonal zones, and the normal zones, which are normally used inside the transport models. The total number of zones can be specified here, down here. And in case we are using the hexagonal zones, then we can also specify the hexagon zone re resolution in this option here. Uh, there's also a possibility of including or calculating the structural data for the, these zones. And if we want that, we need to select this create four-step model because inside this model, the structural data will be calculated for the zones. Uh, and after we have all of these options selected, which we want for our model, we can just simply click on create and see, it gives me an error because we need to select the territory first. So I will just select the territory that was created previously, and then we can cre uh, click on create. And here I will have this job because we can also rename the job so that we know which uh, city the model is for, and we can just run it. So this is all for this video. If you are also interested on what we can do with the model after it comes out of this model to go, Please uh, see the next video. Thank you.